Hello everybody, welcome to one of, if not the tie of the round. We've got Eliod with his underworld in blue versus Seabros and his lizard men in red. Seabros has won the toss and is deciding. You would have thought he would have already made his mind up what he does if he wins the toss. He does receive. And, uh, yep, let's have a look at the teams. This is what the play-in's uh, final phase is what it is. I should have started with that, but never mind. I'm just so excited because this is really pretty incredible, right? Seabro's only two re-rolls because it's Lizard Men. He has gone 12 players and an apothecary. Elliot has 16 players <laughs> and five re-rolls. Elliot's gone with the troll, which is how he's got the fifth re-roll. Uh, other people have like wasted money on assistant coaches, whereas Elliot has got an extra re-roll, which seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? Five re-rolls, but um, means you can, you know, you can try crazy things, right? And he's stacked on the gutter runner with a sidestep and a two heads because that's the best thing to do. And he's got a mighty blow. That could have been a guard or a tackle, right? The blitzer. Um, all three have got pros and cons, and he's gone for the banger route, and he's gone extra arms on the thrower because the pickup fail is such a point of big point of failure on the one turn attempt. Um, Seabros has gone five block Saurus, and this little wrinkle to the lizard man team is him taking a sneaky git skink uh, rather than an extra block Saurus, or you know maybe a guard Crocs. They're pretty much the 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 flex spot is normally a guard Crocs. And he hasn't taken the Chameleon Skink. He is instead taking an assistant coach. I don't I don't hate the Chameleon Skink for a you know the two turn. And maybe a one turn. Oh my god, 14 players for Elliot. Outrageous. You'll see some people only start with two snotlings on the field. Elliot always starts with three. Tries to get his 14 player high roll, and he gets it this half. Pretty good. Protecting his snotlings. You'll see other people expose them. But Eliod, I mean, Eliod, very experienced with Underworld. He has won a major on Fumble with them. And, uh, yep. Very good at the Blood Bowls in general. Very exciting match. Super interesting, you might say. Mighty push. Guard protecting him from 3D. Gets Le Plim Plom Pal. And blocks the troll down. Troll is quite good, right? It saves attrition by being on the LOS, whereas a rogue you can't put on the LOS. Well, I mean, you can, but it's really stupid. <laughs> it's really stupid to put a troll on, uh, a rogue on the LOS. Now, are we going to see a big foul? Maybe, maybe, right? He could move the Crocs one forward and go for a big foul. I think we are. Maybe not. Yep. Nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Dwyer. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I was, I was happy. I remembered that, <laughs> that he had a wizard. Oh, look at this! Elliot instantly goes for the weak link with mighty blow. Does nothing. Yeah, I was proud of myself for remembering the wizard this time. Uh, the other time, I was dackering versus a wizard. I forgot and got wrecked by it. I think it helped that Hancock had got wrecked by a wizard when he was dackering. But that made me, uh, made me not. 
Well, yeah, tanks, tanks don't they? Dauntless. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem, right? It's not useful against dwarves. Like, I always like to think everything about dwarves when I'm playing elves, and like that's why I value wrestle more because, you know, try and shore up the worst matchup. But you know, there's a lot to be said for making your good matchups better because, or like, you know, ignoring that. It's it's just oh, it is what it is, isn't it? At the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we've got the lovely chain push here into additional hits. Or a dub skull. <laughs> With two rerolls. <laughs> and an eight assist foul. No, you can't take the skull, Seabros, can you? I'm not sure you can take this the skull there. Because that was gonna chain like if he powers, oh no, he didn't have the extra ones. So if he powers, he could have put him into there, and then him into there. He didn't have anybody here. If he put if he put the Saurus up here, he could have chained the troll to there and had like a mega gang foul on the troll. I think you maybe re-roll that. Yeah, this is like this is an eight assist foul. Like Elliot's doing this a million percent. Elliot is doing an eight assist foul now. It's auto AV breaking Isaurus at the cost of a sn snotlings, which he's already doing this with. <laughs> so there is no positional cost to Elliot. <laughs> there is zero positional cost to Elliot making this foul. So I guess the only thing is, you know, does he put a skink in there? And then block this guy and chain out the, you know, the skink round the back or whatever. It was the only consideration. And whether he blitzes rather than blocking, and he does blitz that guy. And yeah, maybe that's what he was thinking about. He can't blitz anybody else, so he just blitzes rather than blocks. Oh, I'm getting a little bit worried about this now. Hello? One, two, three, four, five, six. This what? What are you playing at, Eliod? I don't even know who you are. He's not fouling him? No way! No way! Man, I think you have to. I think you have to. Anyway, Seabro's appled that, didn't he? That, that was a KO that Seabro's appled there. I guess he's thinking he's got 14 players. He hasn't had anybody removed. He wants to keep 14 players to stop Seabro scoring. That's got to be the only thing that he's thinking of, right? Like, dude, you can swap a Snotling for a Saurus, maybe. I think you have to foul that. I mean, he get, he's got away with it completely, hasn't he, Seabros, now? Like, he's 100% gotten away with it. Um, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked that Elliot didn't gang foul there. Absolutely shocked. Oh, well. That's why you should have fouled, Elliot. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> he apples it. He, use, he uses his apple. He doesn't even think about relying on the regen. He uses the apple. Man. Man, I'm shocked at the no. I'm I am aghast at the no foul. There's got to be a reason for it. Like I guess he just thinks, you know, maybe he thinks he's got to win in overtime. He doesn't want any to lose any players. He doesn't want to give a free, you know, free removal, a free snotling removal. But I mean, come on, man, come on, man! It was eight assist gang foul. <laughs> it was literally an eight assist gang. Like it's not not even joke, right? Like, he doesn't really give up position to 8 assist gang foul here. Oh, sorry, 7 assist, seven assist foul. 
Yeah, seven assist foul. I mean, he must really have faith that he can he can stop this score with numbers, which just just doesn't seem realistic, right? Because Skinks can just three plus through if they're lucky. I mean, it's not just playing Underworld. It's a seven assist foul. An eight-man foul, not an eight-assist foul. I do apologise. But it's an eight-man foul on a Saurus. When his Apo's gone and he's got 12 players and it's a, it's the best player in the game. It's not really. It's Dimmy. <gasps> it was Dimmy. He couldn't do it. That was what it was. Love triumphed over Blood Bowl. And he couldn't bring himself to foul Dimmy G. That's it. That's, that's lovely, isn't it? That is a heartwarming tale that we can all learn from. Good guy, Elliot. No... <laughs> no explanation necessary. <laughs> I wonder why Plotten has fouled with his block runner. That's that's something that I'll probably never understand. Unless he explains it. I could ask it. Yeah, like, you know, like he's got to think it's not worth it for some reason. Like, like to me, I would just... Like, more so versus Seabros than anyone else, right? Like, literally more so... Like, maybe if you're in ladder and it's versus, you know, some, some, uh, you know, insert disparaging name here. <laughs> um, then maybe you think, look, I can win without fouling here. I've got 14 players. I can stop the score. I can open something up. I can make some players to win. But, um... But, you know, Seabros is pretty, pretty flipping good, isn't he? He's pretty good. Like, he's giving you an eight-man foul. <sighs> and a Saurus. <laughs> and his apple's gone. <laughs> he does have one bench, but it's a Saurus. <laughs> it's, it's a Saurus, though, isn't it? You know? And, like, he wasn't marginalized. Like, this one is fair enough not fouling, right? This one not fouling is fair enough, right? He didn't stand him up. He didn't try and rescue him. This this is a great one to not fight. Maybe Elliot saw, you know, three turns ahead and thought, eventually he'll be here with two men on him, so I don't have to foul him now. But When it was so early and there was so little positional cost, I, I don't know what the reasoning can be. But, you know, Elliot is a big brain chap, isn't he? There's got to be a reason that he didn't do it. Chalice nerves. Oh! <laughs> Choose! It's because he knew he just randomly mighty bloke has things later anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> God, do I. Yeah. yeah. I don't know when shit has started. Was that Fash... I think Fashbinder. I mean, Art says it a lot. But I think... I think Fash said it a lot as well. I think Fash was probably... The original shitter. And then... Obviously Art coined... Penguin after the... Uh, after the... Cash Money game. I mean that was a pretty funny comment. I I died laughing at the at the penguin origin clip. Journeyman was I think it was Elp could have been Elp's idea. Certainly popularized by Elp. I could have said it first, honestly, the journeyman thing. Because then it's like it's like following the rules of Blood Bowl, isn't it? Like a journeyman's kind of Plays it a bit, doesn't care too much, you know. Couldn't he have gone for a push into two dice? Don't know.
Queen Mary cast. <laughs> So yeah, all, all makes all the dodges here, Elliot. The the thing the thing is, it's it's the problem that I have with his idea of stopping the score is they're skinks and they can just three plus through. And Dwyer said the other one first <laughs> just now, Keith. <laughs> <Rick Rattles. laughs> yep. Rick the Dirty Dog. Okay, I want to see an uphill into an uphill into an uphill surf. Please. <laughs> God. Does he go for the surf? He can't do now, right? He can't do because he'd have to abandon the defence completely. But it would be hilarious. One, two, three, four, five. Do like three players here? Oh, is he doing it? No way! Elliot, you lunatic, I love you! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, he powed him. Diced. Absolutely diced. No, I don't think it is, because look, he pushed him the way he would have pushed him for the surf. If he's fouling, he's pushing him in the middle, isn't he? He could have just uphill the crocs, yeah. He could have just uphill the crocs for a push into two dice on the ball. Flip me. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, uphill the Saurus and to uphill the Crocs into two D on the ball wasn't even bad, was it? But instead, he just committed half his half of his team. Or he could have uphill this one as well. Look, he could have uphill this one. Either way, this one doesn't require anyone to tag to get the two D on the ball either. Whereas this one, I guess, no, you just follow, wouldn't you? Interesting that he did. Well, I mean, oh yeah, he still could. He hasn't blitzed. Okay, no, he's just blitzing this guy. <laughs> it's picking players from Wheel of Fortune. Now, I mean, there's less reason to foul now, right? He's totally zoned out. He's getting two dice immediately, and then uh, Stockings can reposition, so... He's a, he's a good non-foul there. If you're fouling him, you'd have pushed the uh, Clan Rat into a bigger assist foul. So this this is totally zoned out. Um, Saurus. He does the uphill block. Last action gets the ball down, which is a success. We were talking about how good uphilling big guys were, Elliot and I, and uh, that's the thing. If you count the ball down as a, as a success, it's pretty good. So I wouldn't have hated doing it, you know, not blitzing with a mighty blow blitzer. He was about here or here. I think the defensive shape would have been pretty good without that blitz. But with it... It's getting tricky for Seabros, but the thing is, he skinks, so he can. He's just got to get two more square. No, wait, one more square into Elliot's half, and then roll some three pluses. Like it's so easy for him to score, isn't it? Is the problem with this strat from Elliot? This is the problem. Yeah, it's really weird, Doctor the Dog. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. I guess this look, this has worked in that he stayed down, right? Whereas the foul might you might just you, uh, the foul keeps him stunned at least, I guess. Like auto AV break, wasn't it? Seven assist. So the seven assist foul was an auto AV break, and this does keep him out for the rest of the drive. At minimal cost to you, really. Because <laughs> you can always just move your... When he's about to become relevant, that's when everyone moves away, don't they? Oh, well, I mean, both of the other guys. And still leave the uh, snotling on him. Which could be the next turn. Tank 
thanks for the follow. Eh? By the way, look, anybody who's new around here, there's the Discord, glorious. I should really try to uh, plug the Discord and the YouTubes and the coaching more, but uh, I still haven't really sorted out the coaching or anything. We've got an assist here, haven't we? This is a little bit lax from Sea Bros. But there's no uh, there's no goblin available to hit. Oh, he just dodged off. He just five plus off. So the goblin is a is a four plus dodge off. If he had a goblin like here or whatever, he would have just it, like he could have just dodged in for for. A, if you uh, want to be part of Team Positive, 2D. then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. He could go game. all around with a gutter, maybe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, GFI, GFI. So he could 2D with a gutter. But, you know, what's the point? Oh, wow. He's really good at rolling uh, AV breaks, Elliot. He really should have fouled if he's this good at rolling AV breaks. That's a nice little uh, chain, isn't it? Into the punching the crocs. <laughs> this Saurus just, just dodges away. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Yeah. So, 3 4 5, he just puts in a snotling assist, stands up the goblin, he's got 2D. And he can chain another Saurus back as well. He could even assist with the. Uh, Gutter, couldn't he? No, he's not. He's keeping the gutter dry. He's already blitzed, hasn't he? Otherwise, he could have pushed his uh, guy into the uh, into the ball. But this is pretty good, right? He's got some pressure on the on the skinks. Not easy for them to sort out. Side steppers on the uh, saurus. So I guess this was all Elliot's plan, right? All those turns ago when he didn't when he didn't foul, his plan was to get this on turn six or seven, where okay, he does do the dodge offs anyway. He's got sidestep, he's got screens, and he's got all the skinks on strength three players. I mean, this is tricky, isn't it? This is really tricky for Seabros. He's down this guy who was imaginary foul, just random, mighty blow, chipped. And this is a bit of a pickle. Maybe, maybe not fouling was correct. Like he's still got all six snotlings. That's pretty crazy. A bit different from Moomin Slayer, who lost two Snotlings and a Goblin the first turn. Um, Elliot has only taken one Kaz, and it was on his Troll. <laughs> of all things. It's hilarious, isn't it? The one, the one Kaz Elliot's taken, he appled, and it was on his Troll. I mean, he hasn't really been trying, has he? I'm not sure he's three dice to Snotling at all this half. Elliot has been really look after the Snotlings. Don't think he's got the three dice of Snotling yet. He hasn't even been able to three dice the Goblins very much, right? It, it's been pretty pretty good defensively from Elliot at not giving up hits on the Stunties. The problem here is, of course, for, for Elliot that Seabros can just go forward one square... And then he can roll some dice and score. And it's pretty, pretty easy dice to score. So, Elliot might have to roll some dice to sack the ball next turn. I 
I mean, it's a choice tag. It's a choice. Um, I do think that it was such little positional cost on turn two. I do think he should have gone for it. I'm not going to be able to be convinced that he shouldn't have gone for it. But, you know, here he is. He's got all six snotlings. He's protected the snotlings. The, the main thing being that he can just score with a skink, right? No matter what Elliot does next turn, like the biggest, deepest grid imaginable, he can just roll like, what, three or four, three pluses and just score? Oh. I'm not sure. Uh, well, I'm sure I don't like this. I don't know why he's not a cage corner. Oh, this is... I do not like this. From... Sea brawls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double G if I two D doesn't seem very good, does it? Put a snotling in there, two three D, power him, put him to there, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G one G if I to two D. Could hit him from there, push him into here to get a snotling hit. That doesn't seem very good. What I just don't like about this is, after all of this, you know, the screen is not going to be hard to score against. Because he's lizard men. Like, if he'd done this to Dark Elves... Don't mind not fouling, right? Dark Elves would have had to be two squares closer and would have to roll a whole bunch of dice to score. Well, not one square closer. And a bunch of dice to score. Um, I guess actually Dark Elves, the Stotlings wouldn't do anything. If it was humans. <laughs> if it was... No, even then, humans, it's still the same, isn't it? Everyone's got... But I don't know, you could use goblins and shit. Is he going to just... Is he just going to uh, Snotling him? He could just snotling him, couldn't he? Could stand up the goblin here and then dodge through two assists and then dodge through here. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, Seabrows has saved both his rerolls. Okay, it's some kind of chain. I don't really get it. Oh, okay, so it's to free the mighty blow guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Then he's got a block with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So he's got block mighty blow on the ball for one GFI. That was pretty nice, wasn't it? Pretty nice from Eliod. Okay. Okay. Hello, okay. Timmy. Hello, Jim. Fancy seeing you here. You alright? What? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? Share the game, brother. Oh yes. Sorry, I let me let me be right here. Oh. oh he, Hello. Elliot gets the both down with his block mighty blow. Doesn't break the AV of the skink. Impossible. Yep. There we go. Uh, well, we're sharing it. I thought a both down on a skink was an instant skink death. I remember seeing <laughs> Rumbad do it several times, and uh... that's only that's only when the skink rolls the both down. <laughs> oh, I see. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Here comes the gutter. Here comes the gutter. And he's got hands as well, Jim. Oh yeah, he's not only is he almost a good ball carrier, he's actually a good ball carrier. <laughs> oh wow, I like the. Uh... The uh, modification, whatever it's called. He's got a funky warp stone jacket. 
Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, the whatever you call them, <coughs> customizations or whatever. Yeah. I he's going right for the ball, isn't he? He's not just stopping there, is he? He's got to be going for the ball, surely. Oh, he was thinking oh, yeah. about whether to go out, and he did the three plus four plus. What a what a dirt bag! And gets yeah. the five plus. He had to because he's got a GFI twice. Oh <laughs> my God, Elliot, you dirty dog! Oh, one reroll. I guess he was thinking, I've got five rerolls. Of course, I'm doing all of it. <laughs> oh, this is Elliot's drive, is it? Uh, this is Seabro's drive. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the Snotling can come here. Oh, he double won the Snotling! Five oh, re rolls! And he can't <laughs> do a two plus. Can he free dice this? Yeah. He needs one assist, doesn't he? Yeah, he skinks on the floor. Yeah. Free dice with block. Dead, dead, dead gutter. Yeah. That's, but he probably won't be scoring after, will he? Uh, he might do. He can, pro he can clear this guy, and he, he can clear this skink. And then this well, can retrieve. Yeah, so he's got a free free. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Elliot gets powered if he sidesteps to the sideline and tries to scatter it out. Mm, maybe. It's dangerous though, isn't it? I guess no, it's not. Yeah, because this no, guy's not really, yeah. Not really. There we go. So Come the on, power there. He's no, gone. Break. That gives mm. him the 3D from the Saurus here to free the other skink. Gets, Gets the, the ball both pow. down, both down, right? Both down is the play here. Ooh, yeah. but he might catch it on either of these two. He doesn't. That is the perfect scatter for Mr. Ball. Yep, 3D from the Saurus because he's five through a he? table. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is oh, like really hell, easy. No. Just the stun on the gutter is pretty great for Elliot, to be fair. Yep. Oh my god, doesn't kill a skink. Doesn't, doesn't kill the snotling? The yeah. You might have to re-roll this. Uh, yeah, why it not? does, gets the power. Mm. The 4 plus handoff's pretty big, right? He's yes. already got he's already got skill re-roll in the dodge. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's a 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus without, with only one re-roll. He's gonna score, and he. This is just lizards will, all over. Right? Yeah, it's just lizards. I've I've been here before, Jim. I've played this game. <laughs> this it's, is why I didn't like Elliot not fouling and stuff. It's lizards, man. Like just screaming and hoping for the best. And okay, he did do the ball sack. And... Oh, he's come back. Easy. Yeah. Yep. Easy. Yep. God damn, lizards. Super easy. But well, now it, here comes the underworld's turn. To yes. Do it. Yeah, yeah. The disgusting. I can't believe they, they they should have just had a gentleman's agreement just to skip to turn eight. <laughs> let Seabulls run it in. Let Elliot over like one turn and then start the game in the second half. It would have been much quicker. Yeah. Oh man, I tell you what, Elliot's got to feel a little bit bad, right? Because I know he did the he did the three four five and he had dodge and he had five re rolls, but yeah, the five plus the five good. plus pickup was pretty lucky, right? And then. Uh, and then to double one the snotling because he was so close to, to getting the screen yeah. through. It's always the easy one that you failed on, isn't it? It's, just, yeah. it's, it's so true. It's always the two plus that kills you. It is. Do the fight. Like, and that's the thing is when you're talking to your mates like after the game like in the at the tabletop, they're like, oh, I had a two plus to score. And you're <laughs> like, yeah, but you rolled like a six, a five, and a four before that. But you haven't mentioned that bit, have you? <laughs> have, have you? You just said, have oh, you? I had a two. I just had a two plus and I would have won. Right. Yeah. If I had I'm a not penny. mentioning any names. So. <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I heard, I just needed a two plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you roll before the two plus? Oh well it was a six plus, but you know, like, like. I mean I'd made ten cars on the guy before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. He had four, he had four more rerolls to get like both snotlings through to screen. Like it was, oh man, that was that was yeah. a bit tragic. But then he'd rolled all the dice before, so all the dice, all the dice. He's gone for push denial. Yep, not just this is where needed. this is. I mean, this. I mean, I know like Elliot says like troll superiority over the road. Maybe he just does throw teammates. Nah. 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 
you can <coughs> figure it out. He can, you can just snotling up here, right? You can just snotling up. Oh here, yeah, of course you can. And yeah. then blitz him, and then power him, and then take that to get the push there and stuff. Well spotted, Jim. Tanks. Tanks a lot. He's gonna <laughs> snake the pick up, isn't he? The problem here, honestly, the problem with 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 one turning in Blood Bowl three, is is the time, right? You've only got two minutes to set up. There's no time bank possible. You've, so you've got to see it and you've got to like deal with the interface pretty quickly to get it all set up. Yeah, it's uh, annoying. It is, yeah. Like you know, it's easy on Blood Bowl three, right? You've you've got you have three turn three minutes for your for your setup, and it all controlled easier. Now it controls pretty poorly, and you haven't got a lot of time to do it. Hmm. So he's, I'm, I'm sure this this snotling dodges through, and then he blitzes here, um, pals him. I'd, I'd like a snotling the, uh, on the troll just as a plan B because if there's a a vicious ref and the gut runner gets stunned or something like that, yeah, I'd like the throw teammate as a second option, yeah. like a shit second option, but just as an option. Yeah, no, that's that's reasonable. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> You're welcome. Jimmy G, with a reasonable suggestion. <laughs> There's January, a first time for it. January the 5th, <laughs> at 8.40, 2024. Put it on the tombstone. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty easy, isn't it? Mm, yeah. And he's got extra snots as well. Getting the ball to the go, on it? I guess he does that first. Yeah, hey, lucky ran out of time. He wanted somebody back here, surely. Shirley? Oh my god, it's gone straight to the thrower. <laughs> oh, has it? No, it's here. It's yeah, gone here. Like I Who thought it was that? straight to the thrower. It's straight to the thrower, three squares in front of him. Yeah, I just thought he pointed at him. Uh, and I didn't realise this was a I guess, yeah, he doesn't even need to put the snot in on the troll because he can just swarm behind him. Yeah, That's yeah. Bullshit, innit? Oh, God, I hate, I hate Underworld so much. <laughs> yeah, they're disgusting. Now, Elliot, that gives Elliot. Oh, my God, the swarming gives Elliot another two minutes to think about how exactly he's going to do the one turn. <laughs> but this guy goes in here. This guy tags the Saurus. This guy blitzes, pals him, pushes him to there. Then he pushes him, gets him to there, and then I guess you put in another player here. I, I don't understand why he's got a snotling now. I thought he should have had the, uh, thought he should have had the clam rat here to do the. Well, no, 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 because he's got a sidestep, so the lime rat hits him back through the middle, doesn't he? Oh, it's the lime rat that's taking the hit, so he's oh, going to sidestep and forwards him and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think so. And then he's got the troll hit to maybe get another hit as well. Oh. Shit! Yeah. So he's gonna change. The clan rat caught it. Oh, he's fucked him. What a knobhead. So they didn't get, they didn't get the memo. Yep, he should now, have now, had. Now he's gonna have to take the hit with the snot then. Yeah, he should have had a goblin here, right? He should have had a goblin here as the secondary punching option. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he was gonna do that. I'm just. Uh, no, no, guessing. you're right. That is what he was gonna do. Yeah, hundred percent. Twice in one day, I said, I'm, I'm retiring from casting, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's going to hit. Whoa, mm -hmm. pop dodge. So he's got... Oh, this is 2D, in it? Yeah, but you can pal. Oh, he's going to do it with the uh, the goblin, maybe? Mm, well, you can get a push like straight away, can't he? To save the blitz? Yeah, yeah, you can get a push straight away, but shouldn't he give the ball he's to doing the, the troll. So he's doing it with the troll? No, 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 no. He's still blitzing with that guy, but he's just he can sidestep straight away now. So he just needs to hand the ball off and then blitz the Saurus and then he can use either the line rat or the... Oh, yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you, I get yeah. you. 
Yeah, yeah so but he, needs, he needs to him, hand the ball him, off, him, though. Him, box him, and then he makes the second hit. Yeah, get okay. to hand the ball off. He okay. might have to. He, no, I don't think he can do it this time. I think he moves him afterwards. Oh, yeah. Mm. I think he might have to dodge him afterwards to fill in the last two squares. No, because he's got oh, the goblin and the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. yeah, yeah. Big brain nom. Nom, nom, nom. Because that's, that's the thing, right? And then. Your idea is, yep, so he gives him the ball, and then your yeah, idea yeah. is that you need two more fields, so it's that one in the goblin, yep, so this is fine. Doesn't need a pal or a push. Easy as you like. Is this a G if I've had a goblin? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Oh, easy. Easy. But this is <laughs> three. Four. Three it's two. only it's only a one D. Uh, no, he's got a block with a troll. He's got a block with a troll to make it a two D. Do you do a two D? Yeah, it's better than a one D, isn't it? Yeah, he's got a. In fact, then that saves in the trot the snotling dodge as well because that gets him to sidestep to there. So now he can block and then push the troll. Then, but then it's an extra minus one from the crocs, isn't it? So you probably do want to do the two plus from the snotling still, because you still got, you got two dice. So you probably still do the two plus from the snotling to get him off the crocs. Mm. Yeah, it's it's definitely worth getting him off the crocs. Yeah, get the Ooh, pow. Pow! It's gonna cas him, isn't he? So here we go. This is what a three two two with dodge. Three two two. Bob's your father's brother. Yeah. <laughs> He's, okay, he's only used one reroll, still got three left. Oh, hey. he's oh my god, I hate it, Underworld, honestly. Yeah. If anyone didn't want, if anyone in chat didn't know what everyone was talking about, saying Underworld are ridiculous, <laughs> just clip this and watch it back every time you find yourself asking yourself that question. Yeah, I mean, it was Elliot as well, though, wasn't it? That was a great solution to the to the lineman catching it. That was. Really, really nice from Eliod. Really nice. Big brain. Really good. That was really, really good from Eliod. There's not many people, other people in this tournament that could have done that. On the planet, Jim. On the planet, yeah. I mean, in the solar only, system. There's only a thousand people that play Blood Bowl, but there's not many people on the planet that could have made that move. Without the Frenzy Drugs Roger, indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah really, really nice from Eliod, that. Really nice. I'm sure. I've, uh, news just in from Wales. It was shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. He I could have done wrong. that in my sleep. <laughs> I just got it easily. It was an easy, obvious one turn. Yeah, I, I'm so, I'm so angry. I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> That's thirty-seven thousand ever, Agralius. So. Of those 37,000, you know, probably 30,000 don't play anymore. A bloodless dog! <laughs> God, Keith. <gasps> yeah, that was really nice. Really nice from Elliot. Like, how many people in this tournament would have scored that one turn apart from Elliot, right? Not many. I just being so hmm. fucking I mean, we'd have to look at the dice that, again, but... go on holiday, and you... And like it you would have been interesting to see the team. Uh, you just yeah, what percentage he was? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, fuck would it could work out what percentage he was. It's I mean, like honestly, it's, it's with all those rerolls and that. It's it's so likely that they won turn nowadays. It's just crazy. if if we you can make all of the players though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that was great by Elliot. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was great. It's almost as if he's played Underworld before. Not that it was great. It was great, Dimmy. Don't try to diminish Elliot. He is brilliant. The Enough. second best coach to never win Chalice. That's how good Elliot is. Who is the first? D Duh. <laughs> Me? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I didn't win it. I, I just felt like I won it. You know? <laughs> yeah, I forgot I didn't win it. Yeah. It's another two guys on. Do you remember two guy? Two Black, guy for Blackburn. Oh right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Iron Man. Somebody gets plus AV. Oh, it's uh, oh, one of Seabros. 
Oh, it'll be the sneaky git then, surely. Surely. Surely not. It's just this random block Solus. I guess he just guessed he was getting slapped by a troll. This is going to be a Dakar, isn't it, Jim? Uh, it sure looks like it, yep. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. My expert eye is telling me everyone is going home. Yep. And the lack of damage was good play by Elliot as well, wasn't it, to be fair? Like, Elliot did everything in his power to protect the Snotlings, even not gang-fouling a bloody Saurus. So, like, you know, Elliot really... Why he put the troll all the way up there, though? Yeah, this is his thing, isn't it? It's what he does with the... Uh, what he does oh, he with just the leaves the roger. troll to die. And not the roll, yeah. the tree. That's what he does with the tree as well, but yeah. It seems weird. But, you he know, don't question it. The good thing about this is, look, he's got a knobhead troll, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. That is so amazing. That's actually quite good with the dynamite on the shoulder, isn't it? That's all right. It seems a little bit risky. <laughs> Dyn oh, wow, he's blitzing with him. Oh, that's why he had him on the LOS. Oh, he's vomiting. He's vomiting. Oh, my God. And he's throwing up on a Saurus. You what was that? That looked out. like loads of dice. What yeah, was that? two plus two. a nine. It. Oh, my oh, God. Nine. would have just powed him. <laughs> he could have just powered him, yeah. What a knob. With mighty blow. Yeah. Don't get mighty vomit, do ya? <laughs> nope. So here we go, the Dakar. I wonder why it's gone to one side. Oh, because the troll's on that side. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because the opponent still has to defend the width of the pitch, so it doesn't matter if you look like, well, I'm going this way. It matters in, like, progression, you know, if you maybe if you've got a tackle, you know, if you've got three tackle, it means you'd put two tackle on that side and one more central, um, rather than spreading out I, the tackle, but obviously... I think I leave the... Uh, probably, yeah, I think I leave the Crocs on the halfway line, though. I don't think I'll bring him forward, I don't know. It's tough, isn't it? It's really tough. It's just a terrible situation for Lizards. I think this is like, honestly, I think Underworld are like a massive reason Lizards aren't as good as they used to be because they're like, I think Underworld are even better against Lizards than they are against everyone else because you could just knock one over and foul it constantly and like, it's... Not, not if you're Elliot, Dimmy, you missed it. On turn two, Seabros ran out into like the midst of Elliot's team to chain forward, a bl you know, like to do a 2D blitz and then chain forward an extra hit. And he dub skull, didn't re roll it. Elliot could have seven assist fouled him and just didn't foul him. We were all shocked. And then, you know, it, it kind of worked out in the end. But it was really weird that Elliot didn't foul him, I thought, because, yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I thought he was going to foul him all day. Maybe he took pity on him. Well, the thing is, the source was called Dimmy G, so we think that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, that just explains it all, doesn't it? It's, exactly. I mean, there we go, we got our answer. Just couldn't bring himself to kick the champ while he was down. Exactly. Not only an excellent Blood Bowl coach, but an excellent human being as well. <laughs> Indeed. I wonder if Dimmy's the one with the plus AV. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Seabros knows his stuff. Look at these, both guys respecting the champ. <laughs> you love you're to like see the, it. Uh, you like the Gazza of Blood Bowl, do you? <laughs> Just without the talent. <laughs> wow, Randall Calrissian. <laughs> the meanness of the exclamation mark. Gazza, who would have said such a thing like that? That's shocking, isn't it? Yeah, one of my best mates. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's a pretty great handcuff quote, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, we're going full Dakar now. Instant full. God, I love to Dakar. Oh my god, the the sound of the uh, snotlings running across the turf is annoying. <laughs> Do you know what annoys me the most about the Snotlings is how slow they are when they move. Yeah, it's the... Like, have them scurry, like, the same speed as a gutter runner, you know? Like, I know it doesn't make any sense because they're movement five, but have them fucking scurry. Like the skinks, right? The skinks scurry quickly, don't they? How Snotlings do that? I don't want to see a lumbering Snotling. It's just stupid. 
I know they've got little legs, but like it takes so long. You've already got 14 players to move, and it takes so long. Here we go. He finally gets the 3D on the Snotling. Honestly, Elio did a great job of stopping 3Ds in the first half. His Snotling's barely got touched. So it wasn't barely just got, luck. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? You look at all the other under well, games that we've watched, and normally there's half the team missing at halftime, and uh, he's got one KO'd Snotling, and uh, he's still yeah. got a bench. So, pretty... Yeah, Pretty it good. wasn't it wasn't just luck though. It's important to say I think because it could have just been luck, but it, it was really great, honestly. Great play from Eliod. Eliod, as some people say. Smelliod. Smelliod, yeah, indeed. <laughs> so now surely Eliod scoots to this side, right? Seeing as a Saurus has been committed, the toughest Saurus. Wow. I reckon he might. I reckon he might just stall this out another turn. He might I might do. Think, I don't think he needs to move yet. It's uh, turn 11. He just smash him with Mighty Blow and then chill. I think he wants to get that Crocs forward a bit more. I think he might go for uh, this. Yeah. Yes. Things can happen, can't they? I think. I think get up and avoid the worst things happening is is pretty decent. What you've got to be worried about with Seabros, though, is his chain pushing abilities. He's, he's done some amazing chains with, you know, skinks filling holes. Way. So, uh, got to be wary of that. Got to be wary of cats. Wary of that? Oh, right, sorry. Not cats. <laughs> Who would be wary of cats? That doesn't make any sense to me. Mice would, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, cats don't play computer games. You haven't seen a Crucifer stream, have you? I haven't actually. No, I've seen. I haven't seen not many. I have seen the Crucifer stream. Have you seen Rumbag when he starts losing at Blood Bowl? He's always shouting at his cat. <laughs> he's always really mean to his cat when he starts losing. He's which is all monster. the time. <laughs> <laughs> Poor cat. And then and then when he did the charity stream, it was for a charity to do with cats. <laughs> it was hilarious. I, it, it cruised, I saw Chris's like 24 hour drinking stream and it was, it was tea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That was great. Loves this tea. I don't know. What, I wish I had thought of that. Because I love tea, and now I'd just be copying Chris, wouldn't I? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't love a 24-hour stream, though, Jim. No, I wouldn't. I might do one sometime. Never say never. Yeah. Wow, tea man Taylor. Tea man Well, see, you know about tea. I know, right? If he's dissing Rington's, fucking nothing. Absolute dirtbag. I've done, I've done several accidental twenty-four hour streams playing Battle Brothers. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just fucking accidental twenty-four hour stream. Jesus Christ! What do you mean it's Tuesday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is an overcommit by. Sea brawls, my opinion. Oh, he argues the call. This is a big swing back, right, into acres of open space here. I mean, the problem is, I guess, that lizards are so fucking fast that an overcommit doesn't really fucking matter. That is the problem. Like, you're like, oh, hey, look, this is a mistake. It's a, it's a great big switch, but they just don't care. They just move all the guys over the next turn anyway. Good, thank you, Team Ann Taylor. That's correct. 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 Yeah. So, Elliot comes back, back to base, and this is great by Seabros, isn't he? Putting his, uh, hanging his armor ten, well, eleven plus guy out to dry, he, making use of that Iron Man, Dimmy G, the champ, taking the hits. It's Friday, oh wow. 
Tanks. Hey! Fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you and your armor 11 plus. But that oh. saved him from getting cast. Not that it matters, you know, because it's going to be over with a 2 1 win to Elliot. But if it's not a 2 1 win for Elliot, um, that AV could have saved him, right? That could have saved him the match there. That random plus AV. Man, the prayers are just. They tilt me. Yeah, the prayers tilt me too, to be honest. Oh no, not today though. I got the one where you get two SPP for fouls, and then I fouled with my big un and got a cards and got two SPPs. <laughs> and then he uh, scored a touchdown, so it got him the level making the fouls. So that was pretty great. 1D takes the ball down, no problem. Knuckle dusters. Constantly knuckle dusters. Oh, knuckle dusters are Constantly horrible. Constantly going to my opponent. Yeah, they are horrible, man. Every I, game. I couldn't believe then, when I got <clears throat> knuckle dusters against me. And then every time they hit me, they only break armor because of Mighty Blow, and then it's a Kaz. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm just sorry, I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm too angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too angry right now. <laughs> Glorious, Bluggy. Yeah. And do you know what? There was, uh, <laughs> there was speaking of uh, Kalon in the kickoff in the NAF kickoff event. He got he got mighty blow on his witch elf, and it's like how insane is that? A block mighty blow witch elf is like god tier in NAF style, isn't it? So, very very tilting, I imagine, for his opponent. He, we finally abandoned the troll here, Sea Bros. Is it too late though? Uh, what turn are we on? 12. Going into 13. Mm. Not going to be easy, you know? No. Well, again, I think oh, this is only. Oh, GG. He can't re roll it. He can't, oh my god, why did you do that? I guess it gets strength 4 on the ball. Maybe he does re roll it. Maybe, but then he just hands off to the fucking skink. Uh, not the skink, the gutter runner. Oh man, it's great that he's got the time to think about this. Honestly, I love this change. I love the I love the time bank, and I love the you know getting rid of the stupid thirty second things. You can literally think about whether to re-roll this for like two minutes if he wants, can't he? But against Dog to the Dog, right? He's only made one three dice against a Snotling with block, I think. And now he's made the second three dice with block against a snotling. Like I, I genuinely believe this is the only this, the only second time he's he's three dice to skin with block. So it's not too surprising that he hasn't removed them, right? Now maybe there were chances to to. Oh no 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 he did he did scoring as well. Okay, so it's like the third time. Maybe the fourth time. Okay. <laughs> maybe the third time. I think the third time he's three dice to snotling, and he re-rolled one of them. So he could 1D with a mighty blow, but then that leaves him stuck. He can hand off to the gutter, who then runs up and activates the troll. <laughs> oh, if only he'd waited. Honestly, I don't hate handing off to the gutter, running up, activating the troll. And then just dodge through. Whoa! It's way over here. I mean, he has Dog to the Dog, but I literally just said <laughs> that he hasn't got to three dice with block very often. Like, literally about three times in the entire match. Elliot's made lots of, you know, he's made a mighty blow two dice every single turn, hasn't he? That well, adds up. Apart from the one where he vomited with the troll. True. <laughs> and, uh... I guess he did mighty blow with the uh, one turner, but he did push. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he rolled but, it. like he would have. He would. He would have taken a power though, right? He would have taken a power. Was, I mean, that doesn't make it a power though, does it? No, but I'm not saying he's powered him every time. He's but he's blitzed with him every time, hasn't he? <laughs> mm -hmm. He's made probably like you know a good ten mighty blow hits. I don't know, I missed the first half. Yeah. Honestly, Elliot, Elliot was really good defending his snotlings. The problem that he's got here is, even if he gets the snotlings to protect the skink, uh, got her, what does he do next turn and the turn after? 
We're just going to get obliterated by Saurus blocks. Maybe he should have kept somebody back, see, bros. Does the 1D there to see if he gets the goblin out. Gets the pal. So I guess he puts the goblin there, a skink there, and the other skink there. <laughs> nope. Tagging that source. I quite liked the goblin there. Oops, he's double wand into self cars. Into instant two dice on the ball. Well, not instant, but pretty instant. See, I preferred him there, right? And then he's screening against this skink running around. It's just a GFI now for two dice on the ball. Yeah, I thought that was better. For, I'm surprised that Elliot put him there. I thought this was obviously better. Interesting. Super interesting. Very interesting, Jim. It's interesting super, scenes. It's super interesting, isn't it? Yeah, well, don't you think that the snotling's better here if he instantly snakes? Oi. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, he, he could just, like, 2D him with skinks anyway, right? Well, I think the idea was to get the, the other one through here so he couldn't, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. So he just needed like one or two two pluses to make it literally impossible. Impossible at two D, yeah. But then the problem what was you gonna do the turn after? This was the thing, like this is the thing is what you do the turn after versus versus uh, a team of movement six strength four players. Yeah, I mean he's gotta get down the field, hasn't he? Yeah, it's it's tricky. And then the strength two sackers get two dice on you at least. This is where the fouling comes into it because where he hasn't been fouling, there's still a lot of lizards on the pitch. Yeah, I mean he's removed two saurus as as dog to the dog said. Like that's pretty good, isn't it? He actually removed three, but one got apple. So he's had his fair share of luck in this earlier, though he's, you know, failed a couple of two plus snotling dodges. So you go GFI. I wonder if the dodge was better actually due to him only having one reroll. Like, do you reroll this? Oh Maybe. man. Maybe. It's horrible, isn't it? Wait, so is he gonna see the ball again? Exactly. He does reroll it. Doesn't get him. Doesn't get him, and now he sidesteps up as well. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, disgusting. He might go back, actually, to have more freedom. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's going to go back over to the right, isn't he? I mean, wherever he wants, I guess. I think that should be based on the gutter run, isn't it? Well, maybe not. I think maybe he's based on the uh, Mighty Blow, because at the moment the Mighty Blow is just a dodge for a 1D Blitz, which looks pretty spicy. Or a 1D block. Oh, I see. Spicy. This guy's free. So he could assist there, and then he could 1D block, and then the scutter could 2D blitz, and he could run up and activate the troll, and he could run back and tag the Saurus. There's all sorts of things that can happen. I'm sure it'll be super interesting. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, <a> Fluffy Burrito. <laughs> so he comes in for the assist. Does he 1D and then blitz with somebody else? I mean, or does he just 2D blitz and then go through the gate dodge? Where does he go after he hits is the, is the question, isn't it? Is blocking even better than just trusting in the two heads dodging? 
It's the one D pound. I mean, with four rerolls now, he's just gonna he's just gonna take all. He's just gonna do all of the things, isn't he? All because of the no things. Not to. Fucking rats! Who will choose to play rats? For God's sake! Oh, holidays! <laughs> Hello! 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 <laughs> Five here. <laughs> That's arrived from the gym, and I found this. Glorious. Yeah, what a match, eh? Elion versus Seabros. Pretty unlucky matchup for Seabros. He's got probably the hardest opponent in the draw, right? You know, arguably the best coach, and probably unarguably the worst racial matchup for Lizard Men. So, pretty horrific for. Sea bras. Well, that's what you get for playing lizards. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So it's this one, two, three, four, five GFI. Still a five plus to two D, but he's got no rerolls left, so. Yeah, safe move. Oh no, double GFI from him, okay. Oh baby! So that means he can do something else with the snotling. I guess the snotling could have just tagged there. It doesn't need to be in front, does it? I guess the uh, no, I don't understand. I mean, maybe he needs to move the snotling to cover the two uh, skinks because the skinks can still, you know, do uh, skink stuff. Just base both of them. Yeah, base both of them to make them both dodge. Yeah, okay. Okay. The good thing is that the Elliot doesn't need to think about skill rerolls at all now. With with four rerolls to use in two turns, he can just do stuff like that double GFI that you know it was safer to just double dodge and tag from that corner. Um he doesn't care about the skill rerolls and he can just do other things. Oh, double skulls. Glorious uh, <laughs> double skulls. Instantly well, over. Well, uh, maybe maybe it's over now. Maybe, who knows? Don't. Pwah, 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 don't say it's over. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The Lizards still have the chance for the one turner. Not really, right? Not really. He's just got a. How many, how many snotlings are left? He's got one on the bench. He's got one KO'd. He's got this one. Oh! Dub skulls, but Elliot has the rerolls. Oh! Whoa! So he's got one, two, he's got three, three snotlings at the moment and one on the bench. And only one turn to kill them. So. The four plus activation for the Blitz. Vomit. Easy busy when you know. Good coach, knows how to roll. Oh no, it wasn't. He had a guy next to him. I just didn't notice he put him. Oh my god! He vomited. Did he GFI? He was here, wasn't he? One, two, three, four. Did he no, not no, GFI? He so have they still got that wrong? Cyanide. He was here, wasn't he? I'm pretty sure he was here. One. Yeah, because he, he got the plus two. So one, two, three, four. Should have been a GFI, so it's that's still wrong. Wow. That can't it can't be wrong. But it has to be though, we got the plus two. One, two, three, four, and then vomited. That's ridiculous. But, uh, isn't doesn't it? Move, uh, the, the troll doesn't move five. No. It he didn't do a GFI. No, no, I mean, in general, it's four eyes, four five, not five five. No, no, yeah, yeah, move four, yeah. The vomit rolled so... its own GFI. Man. That's pretty shit, isn't it? I wonder if you can double GFI and then vomit. Somebody could test that, I mean... You know, cyanide could do it. Well, it's made uh, instead of a block. Deeming his good old days of drinking could have tested that. <laughs> he, he did that a lot. 
<laughs> I mean, cyanide should really be the ones testing it, shouldn't they? But uh, there you go. So two one, Elliot has three snotlings. So very, 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 very unlikely. Um, it's riot, isn't it? The riot is the only way. There's not going to be a one turn. It's just a riot. Is the only yeah thing. three snots in the LOS and uh, sorted. There could be a riot though. I know. I know somebody who lost because of a timeout. Uh, it can't be a riot, Jim. It's a timeout. Yeah. Yeah, a timeout. You know, but you know, a lot of the viewers will know it as a riot. But yes, it is called a timeout now, and it is slightly different, isn't it? Slightly different to the rules for riot. Uh, it always goes forward unless it goes back. Always goes forward unless it goes back. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hundred percent chances of going forward unless it goes back. <laughs> well, unless it's like turn seven or eight, it goes forward. Whereas it used to be, you just rolled and it could go forward on like turn so seven. So the right? only way, the only way Sibros can do this with side stepper is just filling all the. I just or... don't think he's got the players to fill in all the squares. That's the thing. I just don't think yeah. it's possible. Three pushes. I just think he needs he needs time out. Office is rev. <laughs> this is why you need two frenzy saurus. Yeah. <laughs> or a sprint skink. When you watch the replays, <clears throat> or like when you're watching as a spectator, do you get to see the emotes? You do it watching as a spectator, yeah, because we saw one today <laughs> or like yesterday there was there was some emotes going and it was pretty funny. Oh, I can't believe you didn't spam the despair remote when it wasn't a. Uh, oh, here is Elliot. Hey, the champ is here. Hello. Congratulations, Elliot. Commiseration, says Steve Ross. Yep. He's he's not speaking. He's just he's just swaggered in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello. He's, Hello. He's just behold me. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mike. Didn't have my microphone plugged in. So. <laughs> Pedals of not being a streamer anymore. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> shove Hello, your balls Elliot. in my face. Hello. Oh, my God. Oh, there's Dimmy. How are you? Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's Dimmy. Yeah, was... Hello. Well done, Elliot. Thank you, Dimmy. Yeah. He's bloody shaking at the start of the game, actually. <laughs> Which is a bit silly for Blood Doll, isn't it? But <laughs> there you go. Hey, I mean, you know, play off nerves. It's a thing, isn't it? Right, you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. Mate, if you're not shaking with a five grand on the line, then when are you going to shake, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, there's, there's, we've got one question for you, Elliot, right? And this is it. You okay, know. okay. So, first of all, congratulations. Very, very well done. You know, very well played, Thank most, most wow. of it. Um, very, very well picked the right team on, <laughs> on team creation. Boy, how did you do? But also the one turn, you know, most of the people in this tournament yeah, wouldn't have been yeah. able to score that one turn. So, yeah. you know. Especially after the line that catch, right? It was <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that was, the, that was a real spanner in the work. So, yeah, big up, big up for that. That was really... Yeah. That was really man, great one turn. Oh, thank you. Lovely sea uh, browse. Hey, thank you. Bros, but th thank you very much for the game, sea browse. Well played. Um, Underwater, pretty pretty silly, aren't they? And I definitely had the definitely had the rub of the green. Yeah, cheers, sea yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people remarked, obviously, on the snotlings not just not getting destroyed like they did on yes. a lot of other games yeah. but also yeah. they barely got hit did they? they it was super protective of those snotlings to the point of not making a seven assist gang foul on turn two on that sort on that exposed oh, source yeah the, the thing is it's like there goes a snotling right you know like, I, I want to keep my snotlings <laughs> i don't want to foul them to death but yeah Wait, i considered it right but uh, yeah But yeah, I, I was extremely lucky on attrition. Yeah, like for the first few turns, like just nothing. Like the troll, the troll going off, right, was the was the first thing with the sneaky gear, and I was like, fucking typical troll, you know. Yeah. The thing is, as well, the, the badly hurt was the only one I would could consider, right? Like the perm, I would just obviously not apo. The the ko, I would not apo. <laughs> the badly yeah. hurt, I was like, wow, well, shit. I guess maybe I should apo this, but I don't know. Maybe I was wrong, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe I should just left him to regen. I don't know. I, I I didn't hear that at all. But yeah, yeah, got four dice in the ball. Made a lot of yeah, yeah, a lot of important yeah, yeah. dice. One yeah, D's. Yeah, a lot of dice for sure. Blockless one so D's, all now, sorts of things. Now Elliot is in the actual tournament. He is. Yep, he's in. 
So he's in the money. You are in the money already. No, 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 no. no, no, no. One round get through, or well, like two rounds of double limb, right? I think like top eight get money. Yeah, top eight get money. Yeah. Top eight, yeah. So we need to half the field. What is um? What is what's the prize for eighth? Like for one of the top eight? Is it two hundred? I think it's fifty warps. Oh, I don't. Dimi, Dimi, already planning his best chance. It's not too much. It's about one fifty or something. I think it's not. Yeah. Cheers, Seaboard. Thanks for the game. It's yeah. all right. I mean, Seaboards is also a underworld abuser, so don't feel too. I was, bad I was really it. worried about this game, honestly. I, <laughs> I used to seem to get the better with me more often than not, so I was pretty, I was pretty nervous. Yeah, he's re he's really good at blood ball, to be fair, right? And like the racial matchup didn't favour him. No, not but at all. It's, yeah, it's, it's not brutal. It's not... I, I think it's a brutal matchup, absolutely brutal. Yeah, yeah, I think it's for the. I think it's really bad for the lizards. I think it's bad, but again, even really brutal, it's still not that ridiculous, right? Like no, 40% yeah, yeah. or whatever, like yeah, 40% I, I, I is said, horrendous. I said to Dio, 55-45 was my take on it. So it's, it's, what, yeah, what it's, did, it's not what did Dio say? What did Dio say? Dio, Dio said 52 lizards. He's such a novice. <laughs> but, you know, that, that's honestly that's the problem with Dio's thinking, right? It might be fifty-two percent for him versus like as lizards, right? He might win fifty-two percent as lizards versus Underworld. But didn't he lose forty quid to Rick? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, they, like, he did. He said fifty-two for lizards. He said he said oh, that sorry, after sorry, he lost forty quid to Rick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Rick is above average, isn't he? So, so. Uh... Rick is definitely at least a good average. I'm kidding, right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, that's kidding. Wow. Yeah. I, was like, I was just like, did anyone just do that? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, huh? Yeah, look, but he's, he's, he's effectively on the same level as Dio, right? For like for first, Whoa. like a set of Whoa. three games, right? You know, it's 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 close enough as to be... Uh, it's approximately Sorry, equal. Sorry, what, what, what was the right? bet? What was the bet? It was the... Uh, like, yeah. Go go, no, you go, you go. Oh, you go, you go. <laughs> No, I'm gonna smoke. You go. Okay, saying, it was. I'm gonna smoke as well. It was for Dio put up for put up sixty pound. Rick put up forty pound. Winner takes all. Because for best of three. Best of three. Yeah. yeah, and Dio with the lizards because he thought they were favoured, which they probably are. You know, Dio with lizards probably is favoured versus the field with Underworld. However, the field isn't Seabros, right? So that's the thing, and and the, and the so this is the thing when it comes down to pretty equally skilled Eliod and Seabros, then it is it is definitely edging towards the underworld right now. Eliod only thinks fifty five percent to the um, underworld, but that is still significant, isn't it? Fifty five. Yeah, 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 is yeah, significant. Yeah. So I, I can't yeah. believe Dio did the rookie mistake of betting money against uh, oh. Rick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like what, what we were expecting to happen. I mean, it was hundred percent chances of rig winning. Yeah, uh, that's the thing, isn't it? That's like one of the rules of life, isn't it? Don't don't start a land war in Asia, in Asia and don't yeah, bet exactly. <laughs> don't I, bet money. And, and, and <laughs> Rick now, dice officially, the officially for the first time ever, we can say clearly that Dio lost. Yeah, he did. He did. Never happened in Blood Bowl before, but now, for the first time in his life, Dio has lost at Blood Bowl. Yep. And and yeah, that was that. Honestly, yeah, it was it, it was really lucky with the Soros removals and. Uh -huh. um, but you know, really good defending of the snots. Like you know, a lot of people remarked on the not removing snots, but it was really good defending the snots. Like I think they only got you know three dice, like about f four, maybe five times in the whole game. So. Yeah. Re really, really was good defending of the snots. And, I mean, the, uh, the, the line rats and the goblins that were getting smashed all so much to survive. They they could have yeah. died as well. So, yeah, but yeah. they're getting two dice, aren't they? They're getting. It's not the same. Like you know, it's not the yeah. same as AV. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like and six plus sure. guys getting three yeah, dice. Yeah. yeah. AV six plus is pretty. Is pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, sea bros! I would have assisted with seven fouls. I would have, <laughs> I would have, I would have completely surrounded him all the yeah. way of Ebrook. Wouldn't have even yeah. thought about it for a second because El Elliot was already in that formation. He already literally had a three by three square of snotlings. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> this isn't even costing mm. you position. It is your position already. Just, just move yeah. this square over. Probably, but, but, yeah. Probably I should have gone for that. But, but yeah, I, I, yeah, it's just, it's a tough fight. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm a decent favorite, right? You know, I'm Underworld. You know, mm. just, just, just play it. You know, play it really straight. And uh, well, this is what uh, I said. I thought, I thought maybe versus the average guy on ladder, 
with yeah. humans or whatever. Yeah. Maybe maybe you're right not to, but this is this is sea yeah. world with lizards. And yes, yeah, you, I think you know, you're. I think you're right. Yeah, you've got you've got the racial matchup, but it's it's you know he's he's more than capable of outplaying you on a, on any given day, isn't he? And he's yeah. obviously he's got the dice. You know he could easily roll the dice. It only needs to be a turn, really, isn't it? If you, yeah. if you come up with that one turn, that's like the key. Yeah, which you're probably probably right to be honest. Um, yeah. Which Elliot did, didn't he, with a one turn? I mean, that was a really great one turn. Well, really great I mean, like you look turn. at it, and all it takes is a both down with a skink with a four dice and an armor yeah. breaker or a removal on the gutter runner, and that yep, game yep. is completely different. Yeah, you know? so, yeah, yeah. Four dice as well, wasn't it? You know, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got three dice in the first half yeah. as well. So it's like, like there, there's margins in there that just could have oh, swung yeah. the game completely. Like, yeah. The five plus pickup that didn't even need a reroll, wasn't it? Four, that was four, four. Oh four. shit, was it five plus? I yeah. thought it was a four plus. No, no. <laughs> no, no, three plus dodge, four plus dodge, five plus pickup. But you know, with five rerolls, you're going for it, right? Oh, you're oh, going oh for yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're going sure, for it, sure. and then and then, and then well, yeah, this... lucky to make it, obviously. Yeah, and then the snotling, the snotling dodge failed. But you yeah. know, if, if that snotling that, that dodge was snotling. made. If you dodge with a snotling yeah. and you screen it, then that that's maybe you know. Yeah. An ev it, dodge it with a snotling well. in the second half, and I don't get two D to wipe. So. Yeah. Yeah, swings mm -hmm. But yeah, I've I made a million dodges right. Like so, yeah, yeah, so we're exactly. going to fail, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Very close game. Yeah, could have easily gone either way. But uh, right, we've got to end the YouTube sometime. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, commiseration, C bros, great effort, but you know that the problem was getting the hardest draw in the entire competition. Congratulations, Elliot, glorious! Thank you, and uh, thank you also the commentators, Fimir and Dimmy. Glorious, you two guys joining glorious. us. The booth. I only stay there for 10 minutes, gets all the glory. <laughs> That's my style. <laughs> Wonderful. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.